you just asked me about this motor here. It happens to be a Ford. Yeah, a small block Ford. And we just put the camshaft in it. And you just asked me, move it up real good. We put it in and we have problems sometimes. Not necessarily surprise, but a lot of times when we put the camshaft in there, it don't fit right. A little snug. And so we have a whole supply of original cams that we have clean for each one of the motors. So we'll take our original camshaft, a used one, and put in this motor, make sure it slides in okay. If it slides in okay, we know the bearings are okay and the block's okay, okay? <coughs> then we'll take the cam down the street. And the crankshaft put it in the shop, put a set of B blocks and put a dial indicator on them. And sometimes they're crooked. They're bent from the factory. No way. Because somewhere in shipping or something, who knows what, but it is uncommon to have one, maybe 15 or 20 thousandths out around. The wow. bearings will be okay, but then the cams last like a banana. And it's tough to get in there. So we'll straighten it. You're able to straighten a bent cam? Yeah. It's just a cast. You should be careful with it so you don't break it or something like this. And, and years ago, I straightened camshaft for a long time. And if you had a camshaft that was straight then, you turn on and go on the opposite side. You take a big chisel and put it between the lobes and hit it a couple of times. Okay. And actually, what you're doing is swelling the, swelling the material out make it longer on the one side. Uh -huh. And so if you're bending it this way, it'll make this material longer and straighten the cam. Wow. You don't try to bend it with a machine or anything. I never thought about it, but really a cam has a lot of supports along the way once yes. it's installed. Yeah, right? more than sometimes five cam bearings. Right. And in there, if it's out around, it, it won't go in, right? Sure. And once you straighten it, make sure it's straight. And, and sometimes we just take a couple cam shafts down there whatever brand they are, yeah. put them on there and check them, make sure they're okay. That's interesting. It's a lot easier to put them in there instead of questioning it, that you right. put the bearings in wrong or burr a little burr on the bearing or something like this and, and it don't fit. But we make sure they fit right. Yeah. Interesting. Kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, seeing, seeing Roberto lube it up and put it in, you yeah. realize it fits right. Get a hammer. Get a big hammer. That's why he's got a hammer right there. He pounds it in there with that. <laughs> On the inside. Okay. All right, you're going to put it all the way in now? Yeah, and then put all the stuff on the outside. And then build the rest of the engine. You want to keep it steady? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is a the truss plate. Okay. And that that will be one hold the the camshaft. Okay. So that's a little bit of Loctite, huh? Yeah. Make yeah. sure it stays. You have to be sure. This happens to be a Ford block. Yeah. The D2 means uh, 1972 by the Ford yeah. coating, I think. It is a 351 Cleveland. 351 Cleveland we're looking at. Okay. 
That's the information we needed to know. Yeah. perfectly even very good well that crank looks good We check every bearing. Sometimes they come different sizes. Oh, is that right? So you got to make sure they all. Yeah. Do they usually fit? But sometimes you have to push them more. They're, no, they are in, uh, in the box, ten under. But the bearing is twenty. No kidding. Yeah. So you check. can't trust the box all the time, huh? Sometimes they pack it wrong. Yeah. That's that's why you have to pay attention. Yeah. Then I have to take attention of those things, you see? See? Mm -hmm. I have to sand it off a little bit. Uh-huh. And to make it smooth. Okay. So, so you just don't use them out of the box. You definitely yeah. yep. make sure they're good. Yeah. See, this came out of the box already. Yeah, and you had to you had yes. to sand it down. Yeah. With the steel wool. Steel wool? Yeah. Not sandpaper. Not sand, no. <laughs> Very good. Oh, yeah, you have to take the scratches away. Uh -huh. See? Sizes? Yeah. See? Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. And that's what you did already, huh? Yeah. That came out of the box, see? Yeah. So in case anyone's wondering, we have now moved to a 302. Yeah. We were on a 351. The other one was a 351. Cleveland. Cleveland, not a Windsor. No, Cleveland. Okay, and you're just making sure these are all... So this is like a protective film on there then, huh? You think? Yeah. Yeah, but still, still when they package them, yeah. that happens, see? So I have to, I have to take that, that thing away. I see. Yeah, look at that. Hmm? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Right on. You do it by hand. You don't use a machine for this, no, right? No, no, by hand. Yeah. 
followed by suspension, your brakes, and pain member, affecting the fifth day part. Yeah, looks good, man. I, I checked with this. Oh, you're checking them, okay? Yeah. Supposed, supposed to get tight. Okay. It's good. Perfect. Good clearance. Now we do the other side. Now the other side, yeah. So he knew that same he story. Knew that same story, yeah. So he was there the same time I was, probably. Yeah, probably. So anyways, we're ready here, 44. Uh -huh. Because it was on the Ford Flathead had yeah, that, yeah. right? I had radiator in that 44. So yeah. then he had about this much hose. Yeah. And had a glass shot glass stuck in there backwards with a clamp around it to block the upper radiator hose. So that's how he blocked it. Yeah. Okay. With a glass, clear glass, <laughs> shot glass. <laughs> you know, they right. on, they shoved it in the hose, cut the hose off with a clamp. I thought that was trick. That was that pretty was, cool. That was a 19 something. <laughs> that rod. Right. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. 